Oh. Oh. Man. Where am I? Oh. Astral. Astral, wake up. Are you awake? Oh. Yeah, I'm awake now. Hey, wait a minute. You're fully materialized. I'm still in my Zexal state. How come you're still materialized? Curious. Why on earth would I be materialized and we're, we're still separated? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that... It's Yuki. What's the deal? Why on earth is she spinning around like that like a ballerina? Seems like to me she's stuck in a trance. Our only option is to wake her up. Yeah, but how? I could tell you that, but you got bigger things to worry about. Hey, who are you? Can you not seriously recognize your own face? I am you, Zexel. I was the one who was dueling Vector for a little while, while you two were having your little heart-to-heart -heart chat. Wait, that was you? This is the first time we've ever seen you in person like this. We're going to have a great time trying to take over your bodies. What do you mean by we? That also involves me. <laughs> Hello, Yuma. Astro. Number 96? Ah, oh, great! This just keeps getting better and better! Screw this! If we can beat you once, we can destroy you again! <laughs> nuh uh ah uh. Aw, oh, come on already! Can I just get an actual hit on someone for one? Nice try, loser! But you're gonna be my opponent instead! Nice try, you well, but unfortunately with your blades, they won't affect on me. You see, this whole world that we are in right now is actually in the mind of a girl that you're desperately so trying to save right now. Wait, you mean Yuki? That is correct. You see, in this world, this is actually her mind of her darkest fears. Or in this case, her darkest reflection. As you know, that you and I, Astral, are the embodiment of light and dark. The same thing goes for Zexal and Dark Zexal over here. Your precious friend Yuki over here has the dark side as well. Right now her mind is at an anxious state where she can't think at all. And sooner or later, that form of hers is soon going to be devoured by the darkness inside of her. But here's the kicker though. Once she succumbs fully to the darkness, her dark side will become part of a new self. And that darkness will take over her body and soul. And just like you, Astral, she too has lost her memory once. Wait, she has also lost memories? Yeah, well, she's already regained them. However, she got them far different how you managed to regain your memories, Astral. Oh, and by the way, since that the two of you are here, and if we take you down, your body and souls are going to be with us instead, and we will take over your bodies in the real world as well. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be having a really difficult time. It's not going to be like how we actually saved Hart and his mind against Vetrix. You could try all you like, Zexel, but it's not like it's going to change much. No way! Is that? It sure is. Dark Zexel Weapon Chimera Clan. What do you think? No fair! My Zexal weapons can never do that! Have you forgotten already that this is actually inside Yuki's mind? In this case, since we're in control right now, we can be do whatever we want! Finally, our majesty finally shows herself. <laughs> I cannot wait! Took long enough! Ah, very good, you two. Dark Sexual and number 96. 
As for you, Zexel and Astral, I am the Scarlet Maze. I am the voice that has always been inside Yuki's head for all of eternity. I am the one who causes the guilt, the anxiety, the doubt of Yuki's very existence. She tried to hold it off for as long as possible before you came here. But now that she's decided to give in, I will take over her body and her soul. And once you have been taken care of by a dark horse, that there will be nothing left of you, and we shall be the ones to take over. Looks like Yuki's head does have a mind of his own. Oh no, Yuki. No way. Now the only thing left to do is this. to really take over. Stop it! Do you really think I'm gonna let that happen? I'm going to get you right here and now. Oh, no you don't. What? Seriously? Is that a door whip? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with this sort of technology. I'm pretty sure you're familiar when you had your battle with Kite or the duel with Trey and Shark. Let's just also say it has some shocking upgrades. <laughs> you are truly despicable. We will find a way to free her one way or another. that you used rank up magic variants for us? Yes, of course I did. Don't you remember, this is from the mind. So we can think of anything we want. It feels perfectly good to be in my chaos state again. This will make things even a lot more fun by annihilating you when taking over your body. My liege, what do you think? The best time to act is now. You're right, number 96. No time for dilly dallying anymore. Now it's time to eliminate you for good. Don't worry though, I'll make sure that your body is for good use. No! You can't do this! Don't hurt her, please! You just can't! <sighs> I'm not letting this happen. Not now. Not ever! What in the name? What is this? When two hearts believe in the spirit of hope, nothing is impossible. Go, Zexal Morph! You morphed into Zexal too, Yuba! By yourself? Impossible! How on earth could you pull that trick off even without you being merged? It's like what the two of you said before. We're inside of Yuki's head right now, right? And whatever the heck you come up with is from your imagination. Well, guess what? I thought of morphing into Zexal number two. It's amazing what you could do with that head of yours, huh? <sighs> How dare you! How dare you! Uh. 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 When it comes to your imagination, you can think of anything. And anything is possible when it comes to imagination! No... Fair... <coughs> uh. No! 
very clever you are. But that won't stop you anything from saving her. Let me just take care of you first, Astral. Yes, let us end this farce once and for all. Ho! Huh! What? Go! Uh, not so fast. That's a very clever maneuver, Rachel, but you really think it's gonna be enough to defeat me? What? Huh. A desperate maneuver, huh? Very well then! We shall finish this fight with a blast! Uh, ha! Give it up, Astral! You cannot win! What? Uh, uh, oh! No! No! What have you done? What have the two of you done? Just finished this proud of myself right here and now! Not if I have to say anything about it! You get your filthy hands off of Yuki right now! I'm not letting you lay a finger on her! Now I'm gonna be using everything I've got! When two kindred spirits unite, their future has no limits! Ultimate Sex or more! Let's finish this Scarlet Maze! Uh, you know that you can't beat me! Only Yuki is the one who's able to defeat me! Do you really think I was born yesterday? I'm very well aware of that, thank you! You could try to break this shield all you want, but I know exactly how to defeat you! Of course, Yuki is the one that has to destroy you once and for all. So what I can do is offer her my energy. Yuki Kuron, please awaken from your curse. And finally awaken yourself to your true potential. Good to have you awake, Yuki. Alright. All I'm going to do is put the shields down. I think you know what to do next, Yuki. Make your move. Does this mean we win? Uh, yes, Yuma. We have won. Just for the record, I am definitely not traveling into anyone's mind again after what we just did. It was way more harder than going to help Heart's mind. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving me. <laughs> Glad I can help. But I think an introduction is here for order. So, let's start from the beginning, shall we? My name is Yuma Tsukumo. Nice to meet ya. Hello, Yuma. It's very nice to meet you. And right next to me here, this is Astral. It is a pleasure to finally meet you, Ki. Hello, Astral. It's very nice to meet you. Are you like some sort of kindred spirit? Sort of. I am not human, like you, as that since you are a vampire. I don't need to be rude or anything, but from what I've heard back there, did you want to lose mo your memories? I 
would have no idea how it, how it feel, Yuki. You're not the other one who lost memories either. I did as well. Eons ago, back in my world, I fought a fearsome enemy who was trying to take over my world. In the fight of a card called the Numeron Code, a card that can rewrite history, I thought that I won the battle. But in return, I was more hurt than my enemy was. And in the end, my memories collided and they scattered around with the earth. And that's when Yuma helped me to recover them. You do not have to live with such fear, Yuki, and I know that. You are very brave, I can tell. Just like Yuma, you also have a courageous heart. Never forget that, Yuki. Thank you so much. I will always remember that. Uh, <laughs> whoops, my bad. Uh, sorry to cut the chatter, but I'm feeling kind of hungry here. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Can you remake that tune? <laughs> the only question is, how can we get back home? We've been here. Well, who knows how long we've been around here for? I'm in all way. Grab on. Uh, is that even safe? I think we should be going now. Thanks for having us around, Yuki. Hey, maybe you should come visit us sometime. Our world is awesome. You should go check it out. But knowing how we got here, Yuma, is probably going to be the whole other question. It probably may not be possible that she may be able to come over to our world. Guys, don't worry. It's fine. I'll be okay. No worries, Yuki. If you're ever feeling down like that again, just think about us. You will always be in our hearts, Yuki. It's a shame that we'll be leaving so soon. Yeah, but the only problem is how else are we supposed to get home? We don't even know how we even got here in the first place. Wait, Yuma, look! Huh? It's that? It's the Numeron Code! It's beautiful! Is that what you were talking about earlier? Indeed it is. So wait a minute! You mean to tell me that the Numeron Code was there the whole time? That's the thing that kept sent us here? Ah, you know, but well, enough of that. I'm kind of already flooded out by this stuff. But anyways, see you around, Yuki. Maybe we'll be able to see you at our place next time. Whatever that, whenever that may be, that is. But still, if you're ever feeling down, always think about us. Always know that you have the courage to high-five the sky and feel the flow. <laughs> oh, hey Yuki, there you are. Hey, can you just help me with something? I'm trying to look for something that your friends travel through. So, what do they call it again? 
something cold or rather, I don't know. You mean the numeron code? It's said to be a card that can be able to rewrite history. Other than that, it felt like it had the power to even transport Numer and Apple back to their home worlds. Well, if there's ever a possibility it may come out again... Don't worry, I know how much you feel about the YouTube Red Elite Raid. After what I've heard from your little adventure that you've had, you've had quite the struggle. But I'm glad you managed to overcome it to the end thanks to you, Murin Astral. Hey, Yuki. Don't get too all wrecked up about this, okay? <laughs> they did a pretty good job. I should thank them for that. Maybe someday Yuki will see them. They're right. Maybe someday. Any day. I will be able to see them again. And when that time comes... I'll be happy to know that there are friends who have the same issues as I had. And I'm not going to let that keep me down. I will never be alone. Not as long as I have my new friends by my side, wherever they are. Hey guys, Mad Dog here, and thank you guys so much for watching the two-part series of an unexpected brackets fan animation crossover. Now, as you can tell, that that was obviously the a fan animation video. Uh, if Yuma and Ashel travel to the Vampire Night World, uh, where they're trying to save Yuki and trying to fight, you know, their dark reflections of themselves, including this thing called the Scarlet Maze, which. I kind of named it after a certain episode of Vampire Night, which kind of makes uh, a lot of sense, actually. Which is basically the voice inside Yuki's head. Uh, so, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it this And as I said, this thing is literally just a two-part series. So, there's nothing else after that. Don't know if I'll actually even do, at some point, do one, like, a video where, you know, Yuki travels to Yuma's world. I don't know. I, I mean, maybe there'll probably be something in the future or something like that. But hey, let me know. Let me let me know your thoughts. What you guys thought about that um, series? I've been wanting to do that for a very long time now. Even if it's just two episodes, I feel like it was worth it for me to do. So if you like it, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, click on the notification bell to never miss a video. And as always, stay stay safe, stay healthy. My name is Mad Dog, and let your days be mad and rad.